So I've talked about some different, uh, some of the different laws of exponents, but now I wanted to try to combine them in a few examples. So uh, we'll look at a few different examples here with our laws of exponents and see how we can use them to simplify different uh, expressions. So we'll start with this first one, a squared b to the fourth divided by a b squared. Now we said that we are, when we're dividing like bases like this, we can think about it like canceling things or we could subtract the exponents. In this case, probably either way will, uh, will be a good way to think about it. So if we look at this here, if I have one a down here to cancel with two of the a's up here, or if we subtract the exponents, that'll give me an a to the one, where a, two minus one gives us one. Up here, b to the fourth, four minus two is going to be squared, b squared. So this is just a b squared, and now we've simplified. Again, that works like canceling. It's the exact same thing as if I had written this whole thing out, and I canceled two b's here, I canceled one a here, you'll notice that I'd be left with an a and two b's left, so I'd be a b squared. Okay, so next one here, we got two a d times the quantity negative three d to the fifth squared. Now, remember your order of operations, you have to, if you remember PEMDAS, You've got to make sure you do your exponents before you try to multiply that 2AD into this. So we're going to have to start with this section of the problem first. So to square each of these things, negative 3 in parentheses squared, or negative 3 times itself is positive 9, negative 3 times negative 3. D to the fifth squared, here we have to multiply the exponents. This would be D to the tenth. We've got a power raised to another power. So now that takes care of that squared on the outside, we just brought that in, and I'm just going to bring down the 2AD now, so 2AD. And now we're all set to multiply here, so we can multiply the 2 times the 9 and we can get 18. Notice that the A doesn't really have anything to multiply by to, to change the exponent, so I'm going to bring the A down. And then we've got a D times D to the 10th, and if you're having trouble with this one, just remember that the invisible exponent that you do not see uh, if, the, if the exponent isn't there is a 1. So this would be d to the 11th. We would add the exponents now. So notice in the first step, we had to square. We multiplied the exponents. Now that we have two separate parentheses that we're combining together and there's no numbers or squareds on the outside, we're going to add the exponents. That takes care of this one. We'll move right along into our next one. Okay, similar to the first one, a little bit more going on here, um, but we're going to start by simplifying uh, the fraction for the numbers out front. So 3 and 9 will simplify to 1 third. Okay, so I'm not going to write point 0.3 repeating. That's really a bad way to write this. I'm going to start by simplifying this fraction. Once I've got this down to 1 third, now I'm going to look at the x's. Now be careful here. There's a few ways you can think about this. We could subtract the exponents. I could do 2 minus negative 2, which would give me a 4 on the top. My personal preferred way to think about this, though, is to take these two exponents and move them to the top as a positive x squared, and then an x squared and another x squared still gives you an x to the fourth. I think that keeps you out of trouble sometimes when, when things end up moving to the bottom or the top. So I've got 1x to the 4th, the y to the 4th. There's nothing there for that to cancel with, so that's just going to stay put. So maybe the best way to write this answer would be we probably wouldn't need that 1 out front. We could just write this as x to the 4th, y to the 4th, over 3. Okay, and that'll take care of that one. All right, we've got a hard one left and then a, another one that kind of ties a few things together. So this next one here is tricky, okay? We've got negative exponents involved, um, and we've got, uh, you know, an area problem after this. But so what I would do for this one, and, and again, there's multiple ways to do this. You could either bring this negative 2 into everything here. I would even keep it as negative 2 on the 4 and then move it. Or, this is probably my preferred way, since this whole thing is in the bottom raised to a negative power, we can take that whole thing to the top and make it a positive 2. So this would be, let's just keep this 10x to the 0, y to the negative 4th, z, b to the 7th. 
And all I'm doing is I'm moving this 4y to the negative 1, z to the 5th, b, up to the top and making this a positive 2. And that takes care of the exponent here because that whole thing that was to a negative exponent is now in the top of the fraction. Now, again, order of operations. I cannot multiply this 10 in yet. I'm going to need to take care of this part first. I need to square this first. So going ahead and squaring this, we've got uh, 4 squared is 16. We would have y to the negative 2, z to the 10th, and b squared if we square everything in there. Got to multiply the exponents. Remember, there's an invisible 1 here on the b. We don't take 2 times 4 to get 8. We square 4, which gives us 16. I'm going to bring the rest of this stuff down. So 10x to the 0, y to the negative 4, z, b to the 7th. And actually, probably a, something else I'm going to do. If we look at this x to the 0 here, remember that x to the 0 is just 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So if we take this, this is really just 10 times 1, which is just 10. So I'm going to actually get rid of this x to the 0 here. Uh, because this would just be 10 times 1, which stays 10. Okay, now we're ready to multiply here. So if we multiply across, 10 times uh, 16 will be 160. If we look at our y's, this will give us, we need to add the exponents. This would be y to the negative 6. The z's will give me z to the 11th power. And the b's will give me b to the 9th power. Now, if you think we're done, we still have one more step. Remember, we don't like to leave these negative exponents in our answer. So if you want to pause the video and take a second to, to see what you have to do here, I'll give you a second to do that. And re regardless of whether you paused it or not, here we go. What we're going to have to do is take this y to the 6, or y to the negative 6, and move it to the bottom and make it positive. Everything else should stay the same. So the 160 is going to stay up top. The z to the 11th will stay up top, and the b to the 9th will stay up top. The only thing that moved was that negative exponent on the y brought that whole y part down to the bottom, and now we have our final answer here. Okay, we've got one more to go. All right, we're going to find the area of the triangle here, okay? The first thing, anytime you get to an area problem, the most important thing to write down is the formula for the area. So the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So if I'm trying to find the area of this triangle, I need one half whatever the base is times whatever the height is. And if we look here, we've got a base of 8x to the fifth y, and we've got a height here of 3x squared y. So, so far so good. Now all we have to do is simplify this expression. So I'm going to begin by just multiplying these two guys here together. So 8 times 3 is going to give me 24. If I add the exponents here, I'll get x to the 7th and y squared. And then I've still got this 1 half out front. So half of 24, since these are big numbers, I, can't take, I don't want to take half of the exponents because this isn't in the exponent. It's just 1 half times 24. So half of 24 now is just going to give me 12. So I'll have 12 x to the seventh y squared, and that would be the area of that triangle. So um, again, you can see exponents can get kind of complicated when you're, you're mixing all your different rules together. Um, so I wanted to do a video here like this to, to show you guys all the different things uh, you can do when, when things are, are mixed up.